you have seen that traditions that are contrary to God's word, and you've said they'll be shaken off. Can you explain more about that? Yeah, the, the shaking in the church is going to be traditions. Um, you know, we think about traditions as old things, and and while that is true, uh, what you were just saying. Uh, all of you about the music and the anointing and going back to the old. You know, the church thought that they weren't relevant enough and slowly but surely the music changed. Um, we're worshiping worship now instead of the person of Jesus. And so now there are traditions in the church that are, that are contrary to, to the word of God. And what I mean by that, you know, the other day my husband was talking to someone who goes to a, a mega church and and I'm not bashing mega churches we need you know we need people to come into the church but right now the attitude and the um position that the shepherds are taking they're not giving the full counsel of God they're not giving them Jesus it's it's another gospel another holy spirit and what you were talking about Jim and all of you is we need to return to the old paths we need to get back to those things that have the touch the kiss of god that are anointed and this person was saying to my husband yeah you know i go to this church that da, 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 and um what she was involved in at the church and the um activities and she's living with her boyfriend i mean th so the grace message has been so watered down. There's no conviction. People are living in sin because the, the, the church, the modern day church has said, look, uh, you can have forgiveness without repentance. God loves you and that's it. Uh, but you know what? If you have bank, if you have money in the bank, it doesn't matter if you have a million dollars. You've got to go to that bank and get a deposit slip. You've got to withdraw that money. Well, there's a blood bank in heaven. And the way to get forgiveness is to repent. And so that's one tradition. It's It's been a tradition of um, while God's grace is great, it's not greasy. Uh, another thing is the blessings of God without obedience. A grace without growth. Revival without repentance spirituality without sacrifice you can be spiritual and it doesn't cost you a thing you don't have to come out of the world you can remain uh in the world you can uh go to a nightclub uh or a a, a party on saturday night and go to church the next day and not feel uncomfortable the lack of conviction the lack of the power of god that convicts us and shows us our need of god uh Prosperity without proper priority and spiritual adultery, all these things is what God, uh, the shaking is going to affect. The shaking is going to address those things in the church, I believe, very strongly.